Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Posner. I'm a plastic surgeon in Boca Raton, Florida. I, I think that's a great question. And the answer is, in 2014, no. In 2020, maybe. Okay? So things are getting better. And I think for the younger patient population, the skin tightening devices can definitely replace that early facelift. But for the older patients with a lot of skin laxity and photo damage, they still need a facelift in 2014. My view is the more the better. The better the non-surgical treatments, the better for me, the better for my patients. So in answer to that question, do non-surgical treatments, are they replacing surgical treatments? The answer is yes. Okay? And that's great. For example, we have many non-surgical fat-busting technologies now, from Celtique to Liposonics to Ultrashape, which is coming, or Vanquish. They definitely can take patients who don't want or need a big liposuction and turn them into a great body contouring patient. But they also bring a lot of people who are not great candidates for those procedures into our offices who really need something more aggressive. On the face, the same thing. I can't tell you how many patients come in looking for Ulthera, for example, that are just not good candidates for it and end up with a facelift on my table. One of the biggest things surrounding these non-invasive procedures, including lasers and light spec technologies, is that a lot of people think they don't work. Okay? The, the problem is they work, but a lot of people like to oversell these procedures. You know, these procedures do not replace a facelift in most of the patients. So you have to really judge the proper patient for each of these procedures and really let the patient and the doctor decide on what's appropriate for that patient. The same token with this is there are some of these devices that have a fixed non-responder rate from 10 to 20 percent. So there are just some patients that these devices just don't give you a great result on and it has to be built into the consultation. The second controversial topic surrounding these lasers and light-based devices is sort of has to do with what we just touched on, is patients coming in for procedures because they heard about it on Real Self or on TV or from their friends, and they're just not good candidates for it. Okay? For example, the older lady with a hanging neck is not a candidate for a little liposuction procedure or a non-invasive procedure because they're going to have hanging skin, or they might not be a candidate for all thera because they're just too far gone. Okay. So the bottom line is with this, again, pick the appropriate technology for the appropriate patient and don't oversell it. I love my lasers and light-based technologies, and these devices are an integral part of our practice. We use them every single day in our practice. For those of you who haven't really embraced these technologies, really, I really think you should look at them carefully and buy the appropriate technology for your office.